Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of the Waifu's UAF Carrier Only playthrough. Now, this episode we have a couple of goals. The first goal is to go and put the Isonoria in a fight and watch the Raffleusia blow something up with dramatic, beautiful fashion. And of course, I'm very excited to do that. And the other is to deal with this in our important log. The Artificial Queen AER-1A has sent us a communique. I've heard of your valor and deeds for the Queen lately. If you may, do visit Luna Moon. I will be waiting. So, we are going to be dealing with that and going and meeting the wonderful, beautiful Robo Queen. If you do like this video, Make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget that I do stream on Twitch. Check it out in the description below. Now, <laughs> let's go see Robo Area. To Luna Moon. To Luna Moon. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I highly recommend you do. Um, there's been a lot of story so far. There's been ups, there's been downs, there's been successes, there's been despair. I'm watching you. I'm not actually, I can't see you, but. AER-1A, hello. Greetings, things must be hard for you to help the faction. I have acknowledged your deeds towards the course. Things aren't hard for me. I love helping you, AF. AER-1A wonders what you're trying to do here. Uh, well, um, what is your favorite snack? The robotic queen buzzes playfully to you. She probably means that she doesn't want any snacks for now. Or you should take a hint that a robot does not consume any food, unlike humans do. Ah. How to gain access to the automata logistics. You're required to be commissioned by the Auron Federation Navy and in good relations with the queen and myself, the artificial queen said, while playing with her cheapy aircraft toys floating in the air around her. Slash slash placeholder. So once again... We are stuck. We are we are stuck like we were with the queen. Um Hmm. Hmm. How Well, uh, I guess the you know the thing that I'd planned to do for this episode, um Oh, wait, we can develop her as a contact. Oh, and the queen as a contact. I see. I get it now. All right, we're setting we're setting them as our priority contacts. Um, Ocean, I love you, but I'm sorry. Uh, I've got to I've got to go work for the queens. I've got to go work for the queens. So we can do jobs for them, and that will improve the relationship. Of course. All right. We're going to be running jobs for the queens. Now, the question is, do we run jobs for Area Charlotte or AER-1A? That is the question. I think Area Charlotte. I think Area Charlotte. Let us open the com directory. Let's speak to Area Charlotte and ask if she has any work for us. She nods. We have bounties. I want a more challenging target. Nine light years away. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes, we'll take it. We will absolutely take it. Uh, I wonder, you know, I wonder maybe we can pick up a bounty from AER-1A at the same time. And do them both. Whoops. Do you have any work for me? What's on the bounty docket? Challenging target is 33 light years away. Um, ooh, it's a deserter. It's a deserter? With a Shinoria SP? And a Tsunami? I want both of these ships. Um, but, 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 hold on. Let's just see. Oh. oh, we're going for the deserter. Yep. Yep. Accept. 
accept. Uh, we will make sure that we're nice and topped up on supplies here. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell some of these bits. The vault, like the non-UAF stuff, we will get rid of that as well. But the rest we'll keep. We have fuel. We have crew. We have supplies. It is time. We'll sell them some chocolate lava cakes as well. Let us go. So our first... Our first bounty is here in New Biscay, not too far off at all. And then our next bounty is all the way up here in Sfaron system. Quite far up the system, but no problem. We'll do them both, and we will make both of the queens happy. Because what is better in life than making both queens happy? Well, uh, we were just casually traveling through the warp storms. Nice and slow to make sure we don't take any damage. When a Dasso Mikoyan sh fleet just shot out of one of the storms, hit us. Clearly, they had been hit by storms. Very clearly, they'd been hit by spot storms. And uh, bounced into us and decided to engage. So, like I said, I wanted a, I wanted a reason to test out the Isonoria. Well, here we have it. <laughs> There's a hundred supplies in just those two ships. I love it. I love it. 200 supplies to, to deploy our entire combat section now. 200 supplies to deploy our entire combat section. Oh, and I just want to say that uh, some of you guys are probably wondering where the um, the salvage ship that we grabbed last episode went. And I decided uh, that, well, actually, I didn't decide. I went back and I double-checked the rules that I had for the playthrough. And they actually said I could only use the UAF um, support vessels. So, um, I ended up selling her for about 80,000 credits. Anyway, let us go forwards. And I can't wait to see this. We're going to send the Avenger off to Alpha here. We're going to send the Andromeda off to Gamma. And I want to see, there's the Isonoria in her beautiful glory. With the raffles your bomber on the back oh it's so good to have you back and i just realized oh, we didn't name them we can't send them into their maiden voyage without names okay uh, unofficial naming unofficial naming bear with me the isonoria is going to be unofficially named right now and we'll make sure that we name her right after this battle the waifu's custodian which was a name recommended or uh, suggested by EMCA in the comments. Um, and I like it. I like it because the Isonoria is the custodian of the Raffles, your bomber, and they, they have almost like a um, symbiotic relationship. So I thought custodian worked really well. Anyway, let's see what's going on with the combat here. They appear to be gathered very heavily off onto this one side. And honestly, I'm just kind of interested in seeing the the the, the raffles here just bomb the hell out of this zelina grad class big 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 capital vessel that's what i'm interested in seeing so we'll uh, we'll grab the we'll watch the shinori here um, oh that's a face ship oh not another all face ships must die all face ships must die oh they have a lot of PD. Watch out, Shinoria. Ooh, don't get overwhelmed now. Those triers, though. Those triers doing work. Excellent work, Astari. Excellent work. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a gorgeous battle. Right, the heavy bomber's heading over there. No, the heavy bomber's supposed to be going... The heavy bomber is supposed to be going for the Zelenograd up here. Oh, look at all those missiles coming off of the Isonaria as well. The Custodian launching the MLRS. Tree is firing as well. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're truly gorgeous. Those fighters are coming in, all being decimated. Here goes the Raffles here. Here goes the Raffles here. Oh, here it goes. 
Here he goes. Oh, what happened? Did it bomb? It did some big damage happened. I think it bombed. It must have bombed. There goes the Zelina grad. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning work. Absolutely beautiful work. The Dasso Mikoyan. Have some really gorgeous looking ships. I, I'm, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be very honest there. The Dasso Mikoyan ships are very, very cool looking. Um, and I think I'd really like to maybe play a Dasso Mikoyan faction run in the future. Almost definitely. I think, I think honestly though, my next faction run is definitely going to be Diablo Avionics. The Diablo ships just, they're so, they're, they're so cool looking. They're so cool looking. And all the mechs and stuff as well. Diablo, I think, is definitely going to be my next faction run. But we're going to clean up this fight. It has been a massive success. The Isonoria, now known as the Custodian, has done us very, very proud. Very, very proud. An excellent first outing. And then we're just going to pursue what they have left. Our second in command can take the Exorias in magnificent we are going to pick through the wreckage and ooh, a tech locator cheeky a couple of dasso mikoyan lpcs wonderful and we will just take all a beautiful and of course we can't double dip there is a there is something to salvage here though we will uh, we will go ahead and salvage it lovely and uh we'll carry on our journey See you soon. We are here in the new Biscoy system. And our target is... They're just here, apparently. They're just here. So let's find them. Let's find them. These pirates, look, look at them just haranguing us. There they are. Okay. I believe we've got this in the bag. No problem whatsoever. Stunning. Deploy all. Go. Launch, power, <laughs> Avenger, grab that, Andromeda, grab that. Thank you very much, both of you. Oh, seeing all of the fighters launch is just so gorgeous. It really just like, it's just like the ships come in and then just boom, all the fighters. Um, I wonder whether you guys are going to start getting like tired of me calling like <laughs> these fights gorgeous. I, I can't get enough of them. I can't get enough of them. I just like to sit back and watch them unfold. And every single fight is slightly different, but every single time it just ends up in like crazy UAF superior firepower, just obliterating things. Look, look at this hound. Look at this hound. And look at everything just suddenly going hound, hound. <laughs> ah, oh, it was a wolf, sorry, not a hound, my bad. Poor thing, poor thing. Poor thing. There we go. Ships are dying. It's gorgeous. Oh, okay. We've got... Uh, i tell you what. The Astari is so aggressive. The Astari is so, so aggressive. It's uh, it's kind of cool. I, li I like how aggressive it is, actually. Um, it is very cool. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go get the Rhyme. The Rhyme is the only threat here, really. Um, I'm just going to order like a massive dedicated strike on the Rhine. And uh, I'm going to kind of follow the raffles you're out here. I'm going to follow the raffles you're out. And see where she goes, what she does. She seems to be switching targets. Where is she got? The rhyme has been destroyed before the raffles you can even get out there. My goodness. We are efficient. All right, go for the Colossus. Go for the Colossus. Go on, have, like, I want to see the raffles here. I want to see the raffles here. Go for the Colossus here. Come on. Hopefully, our <laughs> hopefully the Colossus doesn't die before the raffles you can get there. Uh, because honestly, it... Ooh, go on, raffles here. Here we go. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You love to see it. You do love to see it. There's another kaboom. 
Let's have another kaboom. Beautiful. Condor? On who? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and pursue these guys. Second in command. Uh, you know, take that. There you go. Excellent. Uh, we don't want to recover anything. We just want to pick through the wreckage. We want to take it all. It is all ours. It will all be ours. We're going to double dip the wreckage. Yeah, we're going to assess. Begin salvage operations. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it all. We'll take it all. It's all ours. It is all ours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. Let's gotta get out of here. Start heading to our next our next mission. We are here in Sfaron. And our bounty is just in the Sfaron system. Oh, accidental asteroid impact. My bad. Let's go ahead and fly around. And yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a cheeky little sensor burst. Oh, I saw something. I saw something I did. For you. Arsenal Station. Ooh. A miniaturized wormhole interface which can be activated to tap into a nearby coronal hypershunt, providing a colony with virtually unlimited power. Operation requires industrial quality quantities of transmutonics, which are first at first used to open the wormhole and then once the power is drawn, become self-sustaining. It's consumed in a complicated ablati a ablative process which maintains wormhole stability. Any interruption in supply requires a full shutdown of the tap. Cover it. Your crew quickly breaches the secure room and takes the hypershunt tap. Nothing happens. You realize you've been holding your breath and start exhaling slowly. The crew reports mission complete as the transport leaves the shuttle bay. Salvage operations can now commence as usual. Ooh. What did we just get? I am... Hmm... Begin salvage operations. What do we get? We got another tech locator. Magnificent. Another drive bubble spike. We got uh, an MVS LPC, a Magellan LPC, a Diablo LPC. We got a Diablo uh, blueprint. We got a Magellan blueprint. We got, oh, the Sotnik interference cannon. Now that is a fun weapon right there. Um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just go ahead and take all of that. Yeah, we will. We sure will. And then we will double dip before anyone in the comments goes, Oh, no, I didn't double dip. We lost some heavy machinery, but that's okay. We got a Gluon Lance blueprint for the MVS. Heavy rail kind of from the MVS. And some extra bits and pieces. Nice. And that's not even what we came here for. Fancy that. Here's our target by this planet. Oh. I don't want to survey it, though. Fun and ore. Otter rare ore. Class 4? Really? Why is it a class 4? It has super high hazard for a habitable planet, and it doesn't even have that great mining. I wouldn't call that a class four. No, I would not. But then, you know, I've been known to not know a thing about it anyway, so. Though I will be learning because uh, I'm sure many of you will know. I am doing a colony playthrough, colony building playthrough. There's our target. Move in to engage. Uh, I'm doing a colony building playthrough uh, as, as my other playthrough. Um, and uh, as an own faction start. And so I will be learning a lot about colonies. A lot, a lot about colonies in the coming few weeks. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we're grabbing our relays and sensor jammers. And then let's move forwards and see what happens. Oh, the fighters coming out is so beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I just love it. This is going to once again be a gorgeous battle. UAF versus UAF. You literally couldn't get more UAF. No sign of them yet. Hmm. 
Where art thou, enemy UAF? Let's go ahead and get rid of that assignment. Let's go ahead and get rid of that assignment. Oh, oh, there's a Rama class. Aha, there they are. Let's pause. Wait, we, we lost. Lost what? There we go. The Shinoria SP. This is the ship that we want to capture. We want to capture the Shinoria SP. It is. Look, look, this is. This is Shinoria. And. Please, Astari, I love you. I'm never going to get rid of you. But that is the Shinoria SP. Mm, 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 mm. Is that a... Is that a... That is a Minoria SP. I also want that. And a Tsunami that I also want. There are the, the Tsunami is up here. Oh. Oh. I, I I wish to salvage much from this battle. All right, onwards. Uh, let us let us begin by alpha striking the hell out of the Shinoria SP. Please don't break it so much that I can't recover it. Starry, you are so aggressive. Starry, oh my. Yeah, the power of the UAF. <laughs> the power of the UAF. They are split split, aren't they? All right, that's fine. Is the raffles you're going to get launched anytime soon? Raffles you're going to get launched anytime soon. Where is our nuke Zoria? She's she's being told what to do. She's being told what to do. Ooh -wee. Those mana scars are brave. They're brave. Okay, the minoria regular minoria went down. I'm going to go ahead and adjust these attack orders to the Rilaru because the Rilaru is just right in front of us right now. Um, Aurora Repentia. Yes, exactly. I was about to say Aurora Repentia. I would like to see a nuke. There's the Shinoria SP disabled. It's been disabled. Yes, we should be able to recover the SP. Oh, Aurora Repentia, what a shot. What a shot. Bouncing the nuke or like hitting the nuke on a fighter just behind its shields. Oh, oh, I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome, truly. Truly could not have asked for a better outcome. I tell you, the Isonoria with the extended shields. Mwah, look at that. So well covered. So well protected. Absolutely exquisite. Now don't show your ass too much there. Don't show your ass too much there. That's not that's not right. Custodian. That is not right. The Rilaru is still holding its own. We have everything set to, to engage this Rilaru, and it really is still holding its own. It's impressive. I, I, all I can say is that's impressive. A big a big alpha strike though. If the if the custodian would stop engaging the tsunami and engage what I told it to engage. And if we got some, if we got some big old alpha strikes, here we go, here we go. No, no, see, they're splitting up again. They're splitting up again. They're splitting up again. Where are our big, where are our alpha strikes? Okay, all right, okay, fine. You're taking out the tsunami. Sure, the tsunami's been destroyed. Fine. 
Now we've got some big strikes coming in on the Rolaris, some torpedoes. No, no real down. Oh, some big damage from behind though. It just can't cope. It can't cope with the fighters all around it. There it goes. Couldn't turn. It couldn't do anything. The Minori SP has been disabled. Huge. We are going to go ahead and pursue them. Second in command. Go ahead and just take the take. Honestly, just, just take the Aurora Pentia. And let's go consider ship recovery. We want, we want to get the Astari back. We want to pick up the Shinoria SP. We want to pick up the Woe. We want to pick up the Minoria SP. And unfortunately, we are not able to pick up the Tsunami. That is unfortunate. Not being able to pick up the Tsunami is definitely unfortunate. But... And also, the Rolaru is a gorgeous ship, but we can't use her. So, we're going to recover all of those ships. We're going to pick through the wreckage and take it all. Beautiful. We are then going to go ahead and double dip. And, oh no, we don't want to recover. Nope. Begin salvage operations. Continue. Continue. Lovely. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. We're going to go into our fleet menu here. We are going to take the ships that we have just grabbed. We are going to mothball them so that they stay mothballed and we don't waste a ton of our stuff, um, a ton of our supplies, keeping them alive, which is very, very important. While I remember, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go to the the custodian and we are going to actually name it correctly so the waifus custodian there we go wonderful and now we are going to get out of dodge uh, i don't think there's any real reason to stay up here uh there was obviously that arsenal station which was a great find but i don't think there is anything else i think our best bet here is to not impact the drive bubble with an asteroid tim but to get on home to Auroran Space. So that's where we're going to go. To Auroran Space. We are back in the Aoi system. And we... Ha I'm hitting asteroids again. Yep, I'm in. <laughs> we're heading back to New Auroria. And we have some ships. Some new ships to refit. And we've got some fun to have. So let's go ahead and repair all of our ships. We are going to go ahead and sell all of our juicy, 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 juicy loot. Uh, and there's a lot of it. From those two, those two missions. To New Biscay. Uh, the Hypershunt tap. Oh, yeah. This thing. Mmm. Oh, baby. <laughs> Increases the maximum number of industries at a colony by one when demand for 10 units of Translutonics is fully met. How huge is that? How huge is that? That's exquisite. <clears throat> That's exquisite. Sell all of that. Magnificent. Some big profits. We've got 900,000 credits again. Whoo! Doing uh, absolutely fantastically, we are. Doing absolutely fantastically. Ah, uh, yes. The Onslaught Class Forge template. Um, well, let's go ahead and have a look at fleet options here. Why am I looking? No, 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 no. Tim, 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 Tim. Why are you looking at purchasing ships when you have just got new ships to refit? Guys, I will go ahead and refit these ships and I will bring you back to show you what I have done with their refits. And we have finished outfitting. So for our Shinoria SP, first thing we're going to do is name it. And the Shinoria SP is going to become known as the Waifus Jotun. I like the name Yolton. I have a lot of Viking-esque style about me, uh, generally. And so the idea of running a uh, vessel called the Yolton appealed very much to my heart. 
Um, I also named after the commenter Jotun as well. So it is a perfect fit. Now, the Jotun is outfitted with expanded deck crew and expanded missile racks built in. And then recovery shuttles, ECCM package, and extended shields, uh, along with 20 points in vents and 18 points in capacitors. But actually, now I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, that to 30 in vents and 8 in capacitors, just so that our flux dissipation is sitting up on in control of these right here. In terms of weapons, it has a Tria Seawas. Um, I, every time I say Seawas, like, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Up at the front here with four Rainer 2 PD HMGs uh, as, our, as our main uh, uh, point defense. We then have a Rhythm LRM pod uh, in the central turret. We have Selamane MSMs on either side. We have Chorus AAMs on the back synergy mounts. And we have smaller chorus MM AAMs next to them. So expect lots of missiles to be flying out of this Shinoria, which is a good part and reason as to why it has expanded missile racks. Then on the back here, we have Merupaka 20s to protect the gorgeous rear of this Shinoria SP of the Jotun. Next up, we of course have the new Minoria SP. And this one is going to be named. The, and this one, this, this is an interesting one. So I'm going to go with the name Mirai for the Minoria SP. And Mirai is Japanese for future. And I thought it was really cool if we had one of our Minoria SPs, which was the Avenger, which was about the past. Avenging is about is about setting right the past, isn't it? It's avenging. And then so the other of our Minoria SPs is Mirai, which means it's about the future. We have past and future as our Minoria SPs. I just figured that was quite a nice poetic thing. Maybe I'm completely wrong and maybe you disagree, but it is kitted out with a couple of Rhythm LRM pods and a couple of Rainer PD machine guns. It also has recovery shuttles, expanded deck crew, ECCM package, and extended shields with seven points in capacitors. And I'm quite keen on it. Then, of course, we have our second Woe class tanker. And this second Woe class tanker is, very simply put, Auxiliary fuel tanks, efficiency overhaul, and uh, lots of capacitors for not a huge amount of reason. And it is going to be named the Waifus Beelzebub. As recommended or, or, or uh, requested, should I say? I think requested is the correct word. By Frostnova110 um, for a tanker. So there we go. We have our waifus Beelzebub, our second woe tanker in the fleet. Our support fleet is now getting rather large with two Juliet class freighters, two woe class tankers, and a Machi APA M class troop transport. And not to mention, we now have two Minoria SPs. We have two Shinorias, one of them being an SP. We have three Exorias, two of them being an M. And of course, we have our Isonoria and our Nuxoria. We have grown our fleet somewhat exponentially over the past couple of episodes, and I am all here for it. We've got more to do, though. We have got more to do. This isn't enough for me, this episode. I want to improve my, my uh, standing with the queens even more. So, to do that, we're going to need to talk to them. Hello, Queen Area. Sorry, the queen is un currently unavailable due to some business needs to attend. Please come back in five days. Oh, Milky Dromeda, I see you. I like that. So every time you take a job from the queen, she becomes unavailable for a period of time. And I wonder if the robot queen is the same. No, she's not. Okay. Do you have any work for me? So interesting. So you you you're actively like slowing down the rep gain you can get from the queen. I see you, Milky Drama. The I see you. I like that. I like that. Old freighter. Colossus. Nah. 
Uh, military system bounty. Only a thousand credits per frigate? Nah, what's on the bounty target? I can handle a more challenging target. 460,000 credits. Wait. An elite mercenary. You don't need to know the details. Let's just say she made the wrong people very, very unhappy. He's hiding out in the Green Star system. That's 47 light years away. That is quite the journey. 460,000 credits. Just so you know, you'd not be the first to try this job. Never heard back from the other guy. There's no shame if you want to stay away from this one. Revenant class phase elite phase? Phase? Phase, phase, phase. Oh. I hate phase ships. I hate phase ships. Oh, I just don't know. This sounds... I don't know how strong these ships are. I don't know how strong these ships are. I mean, technically, it's just a, 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 a stealth freighter and three destroyers and a couple of frigates and upwards of five other ships of lesser significance. So I feel like, you know, from a, from a perspective of that side of things, yeah, man, we got this. But they wouldn't be offering half a million credit reward if this wasn't super dangerous. Hmm. I think we can do it. 120 days. Let's do it. Thanks, AER1A. But before we do it, oh, there's a Sino. <laughs> Another Isonoria. Imagine. That's that is what that is exactly what I wanted. That another Exoria M is exactly what the yeah, boom. Grabbing it. Grabbing it. I am gonna refit this one and bring you back real quick. Okay, welcome back. The Exoria M that we have just picked up has been fitted out with a couple of Suarez MLRS missile launchers. Rainer, PD, all over the front and a bit on the side. Some Raycon APS pods on the back and triple Naga MFA advanced attacker wings. This is going to be a consistent damage dealer. And because it's going to be a consistent forward damage dealer, I've gone ahead and I've given expanded deck crew and hardened subsystems built in with extended shields and heavy armor, bringing this armor up to almost 1400, which is a very, very high amount. I've added vents so that it can cope with both shield flux and weapon flux at max. It is ready to go. It sure is. And, but we do have to name it. And this Exoria M class is going to be known as the Athena. Athena being the Greek god, Greek and Roman, should I say, god of war, goddess of war. Uh, the Exoria M being a gorgeous, gorgeous vessel of death and destruction. Athena works. Suggested by commenter Marbles. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Uh, and welcome to the fleet. Now, let's go ahead and slide the Athena up into the right position. Up with the other Exoria M's. We now are running four Exorias. Three of them M class. Two. Shinaris. Shinorias, even. Not Shinaris. <laughs> Shinorias. Oh, fleet fleet is growing. We need to crew. We need to crew, and then we need to go and fight possibly an incredibly, incredibly dangerous fight. Something that could, could. This could be, once again, the downfall of the waifu's fleet. I want to make this very clear. This could, once again, be the downfall of the waifu's fleet. I will see you when we get over there. And you better be in for a big old fight. We are about to jump into Green. Apparently, the enemy are hostile and a possible threat on the other side. Let's go. 
There's the fleet. Now this this looks like it should be massively in our favor, right? I mean, look. It should be massively in our favor, but <laughs> Apparently it's not. Everything. We throw everything we have into this fight. We give it oh, we literally can't. We literally cannot. Wow. Wait. The maximum battle size is 600 points. They get 360 for being the larger side? But my fleet dwarfs theirs. My fleet dwarfs theirs. Andromeda, go get Navboy Alpha. Astari, go get Com Relay Gamma. I'm suddenly very nervous. I'm suddenly very, very nervous, guys. And I... Mm, really? They're classified as the bigger fleet. When we dwarfed them in number of ships. What kind of deployment points are their vessels? What kind of deployment points are their vessels? Look at them. Look at how fast they are. Oh my goodness. All of the phase vessels. They're going to be so hard to kill. They're so fast. What was that weapon? Oh, Andromeda, get out of there, please. Okay, nice vent. Good, 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 good vent, good vent, good vent. No, don't focus. Why? Alright, just finish it. Just finish it. Just just end it. End it. End it. Finish it. Good. Oh, I'm so. Yeah, what's the raffles you're gonna do in this situation? Can it do anything? What is this? I mean, I think we could overwhelm. Like, yeah, we can. We we've just got the overwhelming firepower to deal with these phase ships because our gunfighters can just keep firing. They can just keep firing and keep firing and keep firing and keep firing. We haven't even seen their main vessel yet, have we? Like, this is just their small little phase ships that are that are dealing with. Uh, that nuke isn't going anywhere, is it? Nope. See you later, semi brev. Uh. Look how fast this thing is. That's incredible. What on earth are these ships? Apparently, the enemy fleet is defeated. I didn't even get to see their main ship. Yeah, we did. We did fine, though. It was there was a pain in the ass, and um, and phase vessels can please just never, ever, ever, ever. Yes. I just. They held the, oh, they held the main ship in reserve. Oh. Oh, pursue them then. Okay, yeah, fine, sure. No majorly good loot. Maybe something good in the salvage here? Oh. 
How was that a 460,000 credit? I was so nervous. I was so nervous going into that. And it was just a fun, it was just a bunch of weird high tech spaceships that didn't really pose a threat to a carrier group. You just, there's, there's so many watchtowers in this system, there's got to be a station, right? There's got to be some kind of station with all these watchtowers. Oh, a mining station. Ooh, a mining station. Salvage. DPC supplies. Panzer servicing gantry. They go. Ooh. Unlucky, buddy. Double dip. Nice. All right, let's go. I want to take on. I want to take on. Oh. No, this is leaving these guys alive would be like setting up some kind of station and defending it would be the way to farm AI cores, right? I think, let me know in the comments below, but I think if we set up like a station or a colony here, and defended it. Ultra rich rare ores and abundant ores. It's not bad. We could set we could set up a colony here. 200 percent hazard. We could set up a colony here. We're not gonna do it right now. But and then like build a big station on it and defend it and just have like the remnants should just send fleets at us, right? I don't know if this is actually a remnant space though. There's a remnant railgun station. But I don't know if it's like a remnant. Whether this is actually remnant space or not, though. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many jump points. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just, before we leave, let's ch check intel. Anything in the area? Um. Oh, an onslaught. An onslaught. I don't know. I don't know about taking on an onslaught right now. I'm not gonna lie. Onslaught could uh, could could mess up our day. Mess up our day. The onslaught could. Are we really getting seventy thousand from the commission commission right now. We are, and we're paying out twenty five grand in crew, six grand on marines. Oh yeah, I'm still holding to those marines, aren't I? Yeah. Um, officers, uh, administrators that I'm not even using. And apparently I have food and domestic goods cargo in NTRS that I'm paying storage for. I see. How wonderful. Everybody, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch in the description below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Where we... We'll try to please the queens a little bit more and get access to that good, good technology. Make sure you leave your name suggestions for ships in the comments. Till next time, stay safe in the stars.